My name is Sebastian Malaby. I spent my time between the SRC here in London and the Council on Foreign Relations in the United States. Systemic risk is different from other types of financial risk in that it reaches beyond one or two institutions and threatens the whole system uh, with macroeconomic consequences. So I think anything that spills out from one or two banks or one or two financial institutions and becomes something that policymakers have to react to that is systemic risk. Well, I come at this from the perspective of a historian. I'm writing a book now which takes me back to the late 60s uh, and goes all the way up to 2008. And what I think you learn from looking at the history is that these crises have come repeatedly. Uh, you can start in the US with Penn Central in 1970. Uh, you can look at you know, the New York municipal bankruptcy, which was thought to be systemic at the time, in 1975. You go forward, there's continental Illinois collapsing in 1984. There's a, a big stock market collapse in 1987, which the Fed has to intervene. Uh, there are savings and loans crises. There's the Mexico crisis in 94. There's another emerging crisis, market crisis in 97. We are always facing crises. 2008 was not unique. And one key mindset shift I think we need to make of the future is that we need resilience. We will have more crises, we won't be able to avoid it, so we need systems that can absorb the shock. Well, I think one key form of resilience that governments are going to have to build up over time is fiscal resilience, because you can have all the regulatory fits fixes you like. Uh, you can make changes to bank capital rules. Uh, you can change the way derivatives are traded. You can make all of that safer. But I think that sooner or later it's going to, you know, blow out of those constraints. Mm -hmm.